I'm Brian Mutel, Senior Sales Engineer here at Snowflake, working with Sled customers. Thanks for joining another edition of Future Friday. Today, we're going to take a look at data quality monitoring in Snowflake using data metric functions. Let's take a look. I'll walk through what this feature is, why it matters, and how it works. Let's start with the basics. Snowflake's data quality monitoring is a built-in continuous monitoring solution that ensures the data you rely on is accurate and trustworthy to help you maintain trusted, high-quality data without third-party tools. It works using data metric functions, DMFs, a new schema-level object that defines and measures key quality metrics. You associate DMFs with tables or views anywhere in your Snowflake account and set them to run on a schedule or trigger them when data changes. The results are automatically recorded in a centralized Snowflake table, so you always have a clear picture of your data quality. Just like other Snowflake compute features, data quality monitoring is billed as a separate compute service so you can easily track costs. Why does this matter? Data quality has always been a challenge for organizations. The common pain points we hear from customers include inconsistent data quality metrics. Every team measures data differently. Data stewards struggle to enforce policies across organizations. There's a heavy reliance on third-party tools, introducing compliance risk and extra costs. And ultimately, there's no centralized way to track data quality, making it difficult to ensure accuracy. Snowflake solves these issues by providing a standardized, automated, and scalable solution. DMFs give you a consistent library of quality metrics that run directly within Snowflake, reducing complexity and improving visibility. Plus, you can easily track credit usage, so there's no surprises on costs. Who benefits from this? The short answer, everyone dealing with critical data, but more specifically, data engineers can monitor data quality as a part of their pipelines, data stewards gain better visibility and governance over data quality, business leaders reduce their reliance on third-party tools, and compliance and privacy teams benefit because data never leaves Snowflake. This works in data warehouse, data lake, and data engineering workloads in Snowflake. It's also relevant across all industries. Taking a step back, data quality matters because organizations rely on data for high stakes decisions, AI models, dashboards, and more. If the data itself is bad, the results will be unreliable. It's the classic garbage in, garbage out, GEICO problem. If consumers don't trust data, they'll either make bad decisions or ignore data altogether. That's why Snowflake finds it important to make it easier than ever to monitor, measure, and improve data quality at scale. Main benefits for data quality are facilitating compliance, ensuring your data meets regulatory standards, meeting SLAs to, by tracking freshness and reliability, improving the credibility of data, validates it, and makes it better for decision making. More consistent data leads to more reliable monitoring using standardized metrics. Using custom DMS allows you to precisely tailor your data quality measures for optimized use cases. All of this is automated and happens continuously. In short, this removes manual work, ensures accurate data, and boosts trust in analytics. What are applications of using data quality monitoring in Snowflake? Firstly, Integrating DMS into your pipeline for data engineers ensures quality, quality across ingestion, transformation, and reporting. Data stewards and analysts make sure that business critical data meets standards. MLOps and AI engineers keep input data clean and reliable for models and dashboards. Then when you're sharing this data out directly and through the marketplace, it ensures that that data is trusted. If your organization relies on accurate, timely, and compliant data, these capabilities definitely apply. Before Snowflake introduced DMFs, data quality monitoring included manual SQL checks, which weren't super reusable or scalable, third-party tools, which requires you know, extra risk through compliance, and complex integrations. Snowflake's built-in solution simplifies everything. Data stays within Snowflake, monitoring is continuous and automated, and everything works at scale. Let's take a deeper look at these data metric function objects. Snowflake offers some out of the box DMFs across five key categories. The first is accuracy. How many of your records are null, blank, or have missing values? How fresh is the data? What is the latency? And how frequently are these data metrics running? Key aggregations, 
like average, max, min, and standard deviation statistics. Uniqueness counts for identifying duplicates and volume, how many rows are in an object. DMS are SQL based, so it's also easy to customize them. Looking at the workflow, you can use an out of the box function or create your own. You then associate those DMFs to the table and schedule that table or view on a frequency or trigger based execution. You then query the results, which reside in a central Snowflake table. Lastly, you can set up alerts to trigger notifications when quality thresholds are violated and tables need remediation. Once this is set up, it all runs automatically in the background. That's how it works. When creating a custom data metric function, you create the data metric function object, which again lives within a schema and database. A table argument is passed in and multiple columns can be passed in as arguments as well. In the definition, you can specify arbitrary SQL and arbitrary tables that can be referenced for these integrity checks. Then you need to set up a data metric schedule on that object. This has to happen first. You can specify a frequency-based execution using cron expressions or a trigger-based execution when the data changes in that table. Once you have the schedule set, you associate that data metric function to the table of interest here on a specific column. Then once this data metric function is running, you can query the dedicated event table or the data quality monitoring results view, both of which live in the Snowflake database in your account. Like all objects in Snowflake, DMFs require specific privileges based on RBAC. To create and alter a DMF, you need permissions on the database and schema, as well as ownership of that DMF. To view or select a DMF, you need the usage privilege. To associate a DMF with an object, a table, or view for continuous monitoring, you need usage of that DMF and ownership of the object. That role that owns the object must also have execute data metric function granted to them. To query the results from the centralized result table, you would use the data quality monitoring admin privilege. This feature is generally available in Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform deployments, including GovCloud. Enough slides, let's take a look at this in action. Let's look at a demo of data metric functions for data quality monitoring in Snowflake. To begin with, we're going to set up our role for DQ demo role, grant the appropriate permissions to the objects that we're going to create. We're going to create a specific database for these functions and a specific warehouse to run it on. We're going to drop all of this at the very end. Next, we're going to create a table with some customer data and use our new little warehouse to insert some values. Note the null values in some of these statements, as well as the incorrect emails. Those are some of the issues we're going to seek to identify with our data metric functions. To call a system out of the box DMF, you can call the function name directly from this snowflake.core schema. So if I want to see what percentage of our table has a null state and call the null percent function, against the state column in our customers table and see that's 28.57%. I'll also look at how many rows have duplicate IDs. We have two. The system data metric scan function helps return the rows that are in violation of a data quality check. So if I run this against our uh, account number within our customers table, we'll see that we have two individuals John Doe and Bart Simpson that have duplicate account numbers. That might be something we want to figure out with a slowly changing dimension, for example, down the line. Remember that we have some invalid emails in our fake data. I'm gonna create a custom data metric function to identify those invalid emails. In this custom DMF, I can use arbitrary SQL logic to identify what constitutes a valid email using regular expressions. So now I can see that I have one individual 
within our table that has an invalid email. The first step to continuous monitoring is setting a data metric schedule on our table. I'm going to set this to five minutes. You can also set it for trigger-based execution when data is inserted, updated, or deleted from a table. I'm now going to add the data metric functions for invalid email count and duplicate count on their respective columns. Both of these DMFs will run on that five minute schedule. I can use the information schema to see which data metric functions are attached to a specific table and where those data metric functions live, DQDB for our custom DMF, Snowflake Core for our out-of-the-box DMF. I can also run a query against our data quality monitoring results table that lives within the Snowflake database to see when this DMF has run and the values it returns. So you can see over time how the quality of your data changes. This is all built into Snowflake. So the cost is very easy to monitor. Using the data quality monitoring usage history view, we can look at the serverless credit consumption in a one hour interval across the time over the last three days. So we can see the very, very nominal amount of credits that have been used to run these data quality checks in the background through a serverless task. Thanks for joining us on another Feature Friday. Today we looked at using data metric functions in Snowflake for data quality monitoring. We talked about how that's a new schema level object and how to create custom ones to augment the out of the box features in Snowflake. If you're interested in knowing more, I recommend checking out the tutorial within the Snowflake documentation. This is the example and code I used for the demo. I'll also mention this Medium blog article by Jan Sommerfeld, the Data Pipeline Observability Product Manager here at Snowflake. This walks through adding data quality checks using DMFs into your pipelines in Snowflake, creating some tasks that assign quality checks to data as it lands in Snowflake, and passing that data out, whether it needs to be remediated or not. I highly recommend this. Have a great week or weekend, wherever you are.